welcome to our youtube channel agricultural engineering so today we are going to see another course which is watershed hydrology so in watershed hydrology you should know the global water resources in global water resources what are the resources uh, and how much amount uh, of water they are contributed you should know after that what is the uh, average annual rainfall of india uh, that you should know from exam point of view and they won't ask this much in detail so you can ignore this another part now now fresh water and its management in india so what are the problems how much fresh water is available uh, what are the reason for water pollution that you just can you can go through now we will come to the important point uh, definition of hydrology hydrology is nothing but the study of water in hydrology you uh, you should know the hydrologic cycle after that what are the application of uh, hydrology flood control drought mitigation then land conservation these are application of watershed hydrology then now Uh, see from exam point of view uh, this is forms of precipitation drizzle drop size is less than 0.5 mm in diameter and intensity is usually less than 1 mm per hour in case of rain drop size is between 0.5 to 6 mm in diameter and drops bigger than 6 mm tend to break up as they fall then what is meant by glaze it is the ice coating formed when drizzle or rain freezes as it comes in contact with cold object on the ground then sleet then snow then snowflakes then hail you should know the property of each type of uh, this precipitation forms of precipitation then after that mechanism for production of rainfall mechanism mechanism to produce cooling of air then produce con condensation then droplet growth then accumulation of moisture of sufficient intensity to account for the observed rates of rainfall then uh, different types of precipitation cyclonic precipitation then convective precipitation and orographic precipitation so you just uh, don't uh, no need to go in that much deeper but you can see cold fronts move at a speed of 30 to 80 km per hour then what is cold front what is warm front then occluded front then what is meant by convective precipitation and what is meant by orographic precipitation so you should know the definition of each type of precipitation Uh, then uh, this is important point uh, rain gauge the purpose of the rain gauge is to measure the depth and intensity of rain falling on a flat surface without considering infiltration runoff or evaporation so the main purpose of uh, rain gauge is to measure the amount of rainfall so there are two types of uh, rain gauges one is non recording and one another one is recording in no non recording we have to measure the amount of rainfall manually and in recording type uh, machine itself or rain gauge itself uh, will uh, determine the amount of rainfall so non recording gauge this is siemens rain gauge so the standard rain gauge known as siemens gauge is recommended and installed by the indian meteorological department this imd is situated in pune maharashtra this is a vertical cylindrical container with top opening 127 cm so you should know the dimensions of uh, this type of rain gauge and what are the consideration for installation then recording or automatic rain gauge weighing bucket type rain gauge now from icr exam point of view uh, this is important topic that what is the capacity uh, in this ca case uh, weighing bucket type its principle you should know then tipping bucket in tipping bucket uh, this is important fill in the blanks a pair of bucket are pivoted under the funnel in such a way that when one bucket receives 0.25 mm of rainfall in tips so one bucket receives uh, 0.25 mm of rainfall remember this one then siphon type automatic rainfall recorder this is siphon gauge and floating type rain gauge here you will get chart of uh, rainfall versus time then what are the errors instrumental errors human errors and improper sitting so rain gauge network what is coefficient of variation then n is the number of uh, rain gauges in particular area 
so this is the one problem you can expect this is simple uh, problem you can expect uh, in the exam now this is wmo recommended precipitation network density so you should know the means one station should be per how much area and at which place you should know then indian standard recommendation also you once go through this if you want to learn this two things in deep you can see our courses uh, crash course of agricultural engineering in playlist now precipitation of uh, rainfall data presentation of rainfall data so mass cover of rainfall the mass cover of rainfall is a plot of the accumulated precipitation against time so here precipitation against time is called as mass cover of rainfall whereas hydrograph is a plot of intensity of rainfall against the time in the hydrograph means it is uh, intensity of rainfall against the time which is known as hydrograph so depth area relationship you will get by formula then maximum depth area duration curves then depth area duration curves means data analysis so next one is estimate estimation of missing rainfall data so there are some methods for estimation of missing rainfall data that is normal precipitation simple arithmetic average normal average method then modified normal ratio method inverse distance method now this is not that much important so you can ignore this one then consistency this is also not important consistency of rainfall record then estimation of mean aerial rainfall uh, this is important method uh, arithmetic average method the method consists of computing the arithmetic average of the values of the precipitation for all stations within the area thiessen polygon method this is a graphical technique using in which calculates stations weight based on the relative areas of each measurement station in the thiessen polygon network so what is a uh, formula for that you should remember then isoheitel method this is the graphical technique which involves drawing estimation estimated lines of equal rainfall isoheitel lines means lines of equal rainfall then the rain gauge network then these are recommendations now here you can see the example of thiessen polygon method this is somewhat practical approach then frequency analysis of point rainfall in this case uh no this topic is not that much important uh, you can ignore this one also then hydrological abstractions uh interception loss throw fall stem flow then what are the factors affecting interception storage duration of rainfall precipitation type then depression storage no then evaporation evaporation includes all process by which water returns to the atmosphere as water vapor then factors affecting evaporation wind heat exposed surface area humidity nature of liquid vapor pressure then the measurement of evaporation this is a lysimeter is a measuring device which can be used to measure the amount of actual evapor transpiration which is released by plants usually crops or trees so lysimeter the equipment used for measurement of evaporation is called known as lysimeter then the surface area of lysimeters in use varies from 0.05 to some 100 meter square and their depth varies from 0.1 to 5 meter so there are lysimeters two types weighing type and non weighing type so pan evaporation then here one uh, pan evaporation a type of pan evaporation evaporator there is one uh, you can go through the construction of pan evaporation 